Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss the example for integration by partial fraction. Use the partial fractions to find the situation given. So if we focus the situation, here we have the situation for x squared multiplied with 2x plus 1. So what we have to do is to focus on the situation or rewrite the situation in a partial fraction. So we have x squared minus 1 over we have x squared multiplied with 2x plus 1. Express in the basic structure where we have x to the power of 1. Notice that x squared is the repeated linear factor. Plus x squared for the second time plus over 2x plus 1. So refers to the first factor where we have x. So the numerical will be a constant. Next refers to the x squared. So for this case, this is a repeated linear. Cannot consider as quadratic factor. So since it's a repeated linear, so the numerator will be a constant. Finally, we have 2x plus 1, which is the linear factor as well. So refer the C. So x squared minus 1, which is equal to A, multiply with the x, multiply with 2x plus 1. For the B, multiply with 2x plus 1. For the C, where we have C x squared. So that is the situation. So refers to A, then we have B, then we have C. Refers to A, we have to eliminate the B and C for the same time. So notice that they do not have the common factor. Because refers to B, the factor is 2x plus 1. Refers to C, where we have x squared. Means that there is no common factor. Focus on the B. Means that we have to eliminate the A and C for the same time. So notice that we have x for the A and x also for the C. So we have the common factor. If we substitute x is equal to 0, so we can eliminate A and C for the same time. Next, refers to C, which means that we have to eliminate the A and B for the same time. And we notice that we have the common factor, which is 2x plus 1. So x will be equal to negative 1 over 2, so that we can eliminate A and B for the same time. Just simply substitute any value, not x equals to 0, not x equals to negative 1 over 2. So my suggestion will be 1. So let's begin with the b. If we substitute 0, and we will have negative 1 for the left-hand side. Then if we substitute 0, and we will obtain 0, or we can eliminate the a and the c. So where we have b, which is equal to negative 1. Next, focus on c when x is equal to negative 1 over 2. So if we substitute, we will have 1 over 2 minus 1. So the answer will be negative 3 over 4 for the left-hand side equals to. So for this case, we can eliminate the a and b. So simply just focus on the c x squared. So if we substitute and we will have c over 4. So c will be equal to negative 3. Next. Let's move on with the situation where we have to find the value of a. For the left-hand side, we have 0, which is equal to substitute 1, and we will have 3a, 3b, plus with the c. So kindly substitute the value b and c. So 0 is equal to 3a, minus 3, and then minus 3 for the c. So kindly simplify, so we will have 6 is equal to 3a. So a will be equal to 2. So for this case, we may express our answer. x squared minus 1 over, we have x squared multiplied with 2x plus with the 1, which is equal to 2 over x minus 1 over x squared minus 3 over 2x plus 1. So that will be the partial fraction. Next, let's focus on f integrate x squared minus 1 over x squared multiplied with 2x plus with the 1 respect to x, which is equal to, okay, do remember, get ready with the integration. So integrate 2 over x minus x to the power of negative 2 minus 3 over 2x plus 1 with respect to x. So remember, do you have to refer to the basic method. So where we have 2 over x, which is the reciprocal, and we will have 2 ln x, plus we have 1 over x, minus we have 3 ln bracket 2x plus 1, 
Do remember to differentiate the internal function 2x plus 1 and we will have over 2 plus with the c. So we may rewrite or simplify the situation ln x squared minus we have ln 2x plus 1 to the power of 3 over 2 plus with 1 over x plus with the c. Refers to the law of law and we can combine them ln we have x squared over we have square root of 2x plus 1 to the power of 3 plus 1 over x plus with the c. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think the video is useful, kindly consider to like, comment, share and subscribe.